Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Charlotte. Thank you so much for being here with me again today. Today we're going to do something very casual and kind of fun, I'm hoping. I'm just going to go over basically all the new releases that I can think of, that I can find for 2022 and tell you what I think of them, if I've smelt them or if I'm interested in them. So obviously there are literally like thousands of releases, I think, maybe not, maybe hundreds of releases in the past year. So I'm not gonna go over all of them, but I will kind of like go briefly over anything that like catches my eye. I'm basically gonna share with you my screen as we go along. And so I can share my thoughts with you on, you know, if I have smelled them, what I think of them, if I haven't and I want to or anything like that. So if you enjoy this video, if you think this sounds like a good idea, let me know and I'll do more like this. It's definitely more for entertainment purposes, though there might be a few serious opinions thrown in there too, if I know the fragrance well. We get to chat about some fragrances I might not have talked about on the channel yet. Yeah, I, I look forward to doing this. Let's just get into it. Okay, so here we are. These are all the new fragrance releases. So let's see, right off the bat, I have tried Gentleman au Parfum Réserve Privé. This one was really, really nice, you guys. Wait, is it the one that I tried? Yeah, this one. Okay, this was so nice and like nutty, like smooth, like the iris and the chestnut were so nice. I tried this in stores and I really, really liked it. I tried the other Gentleman's from the line and they were okay, I liked them, but I think this one was my favorite one. Really nice. Definitely would like to get this for my partner. Would love to smell this on a man. Musque Noir Rose for her. Musque Noir Rose for her. This is a fragrance that I smelled in stores and it was really nice, but I just feel like I need to smell it some more to get to know it. I'm not sure. I think I probably will end up getting a full bottle of it, you guys, just because I love all fragrances. By Narciso Rodriguez. But I will say also, this is the fragrance that a lot of um, a lot of people who don't typically like uh, Rodriguez's fragrances do like. A lot of people who don't typically like musk fragrances have been liking that one, so it's interesting. Black Opium Illicit Green. This is really nice. I've smelt it in stores, but um, I have basically all the other Black Opiums. I do prefer it over the original Black Opium, uh, but it's a little bit reminiscent of Nuit Blanche for me. It's not, it's not the same as Nuit Blanche, which is kind of creamy, right? And that creamy Nuit Blanche. Um, but it's a little bit creamy from the fig. It's nice. I just, I don't need another Black Opium. And yeah, it's it's nice. Like I, I do prefer this over the original Black Opium though. I will say I would get this one. But I really like also Black Opium Extreme, which was last year's Black Opium release. So yeah, uh, I would go for this one if you want a more like slightly creamy take on Black Opium. Um, after that, let's see. I have not smelled this. Very good girl glam. La Nuit Trésor Intense. I still really want to smell and get to know but I have not smelled it yet I'm not in an immediate hurry to buy it though or blind buy it or anything like that but I am still interested camera oh my goodness oh, the hype the hype <laughs> when it came out I was actually like even before the hype happened I really wanted to try it and I was considering blind buying it I didn't I'm still really interested in it and I will probably eventually blind buy it because it's not like you can smell that in stores or anything over here uh, and it's relatively affordable. So yeah, Burning Cherry Love Fest. I did talk about that in a recent video. I do like this fragrance. Uh, I'm happy with my travel size. I don't know that I would get a full size at the moment, I wouldn't anyway. Uh, it's very nice. I It's definitely reminiscent of Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. And I don't know. I'm not like in love with it. But it's a very nice fragrance. You know what I mean? So that one. Then we have Libre Le Parfum, which I did recently try. It's absolutely beautiful. Personally, it's a little bit too similar to the Intense one for me to buy this one 
right now, especially just considering that I don't wear Libre that often. I love the fragrance, but it's more of a going out kind of fragrance for me. Not going out like going out at night. I just mean like going out, just going out, like not staying home basically. So for the fact that I don't wear it that often and it bears similarities to the Intense, I would just wait for the Intense to be over or finished and then I would get Le Parfum. But it's, 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 it's nice, you guys. It's really, really nice. I really, really like it. And it's quite a beast performer as well, from what I can tell briefly on the card. La Belle Fleur Terrible. I like this fragrance. I have this fragrance. It's really nice. It's kind of a unique, fresh iris vanilla fragrance. There's some kind of fruitiness in it, but I can't tell what it is exactly. And there's nothing listed, I don't think, as fruity. And yeah, it's just the water lily. Very different from the other Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, La Belle fragrances. And yeah, it's not an absolute, like, incredible love. It's a strong like. Then we have Prada Paradox. I smelled this in a Sephora briefly and it was very nice, but very familiar. Like I've smelled this before. Um, I think it's been con like compared to Libre, but personally I find it more sweet than Libre. So it's definitely still sweeter to me. Um, it's nice. I don't think I'm going to get this anytime soon. I don't think I would. Uh, just because I already have a lot of fragrances like it. So, yeah, but it's a nice fragrance. Let's see what else. Born in Roma, Coral Fancy. Also, nice, shampoo-y. I don't know what else to say about it. It's very nice. I don't know that I would blind buy it. I mean, I have smelled it in stores, so I can't blind buy it. But I mean, at this point, I don't think it's necessary. But it's very nice. I might eventually add it. I might. Uh, absolutely want to try Olympia Solar and will probably blind buy it at some point. Idol, uh, Idol Nectar. I tried in stores. It was nice. Uh, it was okay, but I still prefer, I think, and want to get Aura, which is the one that's a little bit more coconutty. Alien Goddess Intense. Nice. I keep saying nice. <laughs> Alien Goddess Intense. Very, very like white floral, a lot more white floral than the original original Alien Goddess, which is a lot more powdery. Uh, definitely has a lot of vanilla, but it's very, very white floral. It's very intoxicating in the white floral element. Very good. Really like it. Not sure that I would get it anytime soon, just because I have a lot of fragrances like that in my collection but very much worth it if you like a very strong white floral vanilla fragrance. Burberry Her Elixir. I'm very on the fence, fence about blind buying this. I can't find it in stores anywhere, so I can't try or test it out. I love the original Burberry. I did not like the Intense. This one looks like the ideal Intense version of Burberry Her for me. People have described it as being very creamy, more creamy than the original, which is definitely makes me want to try it. Like definitely makes me want to try it. Definitely tempts me to blind buy it. But people also really loved the Her Intense and I didn't really like it. So I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous about that one. Um, but you know, I might eventually blind buy it. Good Fortune by Victor and Rolf. This one, I, um tested it or tried it out in stores and it was quite underwhelming. It's a nice fragrance, but it's just kind of overwhelming. I mean, kind of underwhelming. Um, it is a pillar fragrance. So I imagine there will be many, uh, what do you call it? Many flankers that will come out in the future. And I am interested in seeing where they take the flankers because it's very bare bones. It reminded me a little bit of Addict but obviously that was my first impression in stores. Mm, yeah, makes sense. Jasmine, vanilla, a little bit of that anise aromaticness in there, but it's very faint. You do not need to be intimidated by that anise soft, spicy aspect. It's just, and I say anise because there's fennel similar enough um, for me. 
has similar scent profile, but I doesn't look like anyone else says it smells like addict. So it looks like I'm on my own there. Um, so maybe it doesn't, but in stores, that's what I got out of it. I would have to try it out again, but definitely not groundbreaking in any way and would not really purchase it except especially for the price right now it's on the more expensive end of designer would love to try magenta tanzanite or tanzanite tanzanite or tanzanite uh and would also like to try shalimar millesim tranca um yeah i've not tried them that's these are all the parfum cristal this one i would like to try I like briefly sort of smelled it in stores I say sort of because I just kind of like took the cap off while I was in a rush passing by and like sniffed it and didn't smell much nothing like I just wanted to see really quickly if there would be something that would grab my attention and it didn't uh but you know I would have to give it some more sniffs fame this one totally totally is on my radar. I smelled this one in stores and it was just so lush and creamy and tropical and beautiful. What's funny is that I don't really, I didn't really get the mango. I just got this like very like creamy white floral vanilla. It was so beautiful and I was very pleasantly surprised and I would purchase this one and I might eventually. Cri Charnel Extra I've not smelled but I would like to. Brazilian Crush Cherosa 68 is definitely actually reminiscent of Baccarat Rouge. Yes, it has that DNA, but it's a lot more fr fruity, tropical smelling. It just has a little bit of that airy, similar quality, but yeah, much more like fruity. It's not a dupe. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it, it actually, it reminds me more of Cloud. Yeah, reminds me more of Cloud, way more. Uh... Narciso Rodriguez for him, Bleu Noir Parfum. I smelled this one in stores too and I didn't realize it was a new release. It was nice. It seemed like a nice, like everyday staple fragrance for men. I don't remember much more than that though, but it was nice. Um, which, I mean, says a lot actually just because a lot of the men's fragrances I find kind of like right away just smell generic or they just smell like too much to me. <laughs> to be honest, a lot of the designer men's fragrances, this one was nice. Yes, I am delicious. I smelt this in store, super nutty, like very big on that chocolate and hazelnut. Um, not very long lasting though. It didn't last very long, even on the card. So worth mentioning, but like bang on with that warm, spicy chocolate. Gourmand edge, super nice for that. Um, Scandale Le Parfum, I smelled this in stores on a card. I loved it. Yes, it has some similarities to Hypnotic Poison, but it is different. It's a lot more caramel dominant. It's a lot less complex, um, but it is, uh, it does seem to be quite tame in terms of projection and sillage. Like I just smelt it on the card, but you know, it didn't last that long on the card. And for example, I smelled it at the same time as Libre Le Parfum on a card. And that one was like very, very strong. <laughs> So not very strong, but so pretty, so easy to wear gourmand for me. Like this isn't easy to wear gourmand. Um, I would love to wear it. I would love to have it. J'adore parfum d'eau. This was just like a soapy, clean white floral that was a little bit forgettable to me from what I smelled in stores. So not very interested. Um, Noir extreme parfum. This one smelled, I think, a lot spicier from what I remember from the regular one. I think that's what I got as the difference between this one and Noir Extreme. I'm not sure though. I don't remember what the main difference was that I got, but either way, um, nice. I think, yeah, let's just forget what I have to say about that one actually, because I forget what my thoughts were about that one. Um, Valentina Womo born in Roma, Coral Fantasy for men. This was not bad. Um, yeah, just not bad, but I still just love Womo and Womo Intense much more, so not sure. Nina, Nina Soleil, this was nice. Very like, 
I was very enamored, of course, with the whipped cream gardenia combination. Like I thought that looks to die for. It's just okay. It's very nice. I mean, it's very nice. I smelt it in stores. <laughs> it's hard to say, you guys, like what your what your thoughts are when you just smelled it briefly in stores. You know what I mean? But it smelled very much like a summery, a summery tropical fragrance that's a little bit creamy and look tonic. So I guess it's the gardenia. You know what I mean? And I guess the name is apt, Nina Soleil. Uh, yeah, very summery. It felt very summery and very easy to wear, sweet vanilla fragrance. Golden Nectar. I tried this in stores and never tried it again after that one time. I just did not really seem to like it. I did not get what I, I think I got a lot of amber out of it, like a powdery amber, and I didn't really like that. I would have to try it again in stores because, yeah, I have to try it again in stores. I don't think I gave it a fair shot. Um, Flora Gorgeous Gardenia, uh, sorry, Flora Gorgeous Jasmine. This was really pretty actually, but definitely already have fragrances like this. Let me see if there's anything that right off the bat, I know it reminds me of, it doesn't really remind me of my way. Maybe this Splendida Tuberose Mystique, but that one's a little bit more interesting and more tuberose, of course. So this was really nice. I just, I just don't need a fragrance like that right now. Um, let's see what else. Melody of the Sun. I want to try this, but try is the word. Like I would never blind buy that. I don't think. Missing Person. I tried. Very nice skin musk scent, but very, very faint. And uh, I have other fragrances that I really like in that type of fragrance. So probably would not get my way floral. I tried this out on a whim in Sephora and I actually really liked it. Now I'm someone who likes my way and my way intense. I have the my way intense and I was just wondering um, if I would be interested in the regular my way or my way floral. Like I wanted to try another one of my ways, but I don't want the whole lineup. And I wanted something different from My Way Intense, which is very bubblegummy, very creamy, very intense vanilla. This one has these citrusy notes that really cut into it and make it a little bit more lively and bright. And it's really nice because it still keeps that heavier tuberose vanillic base, but it has that great contrast with the citrus, which I really, really liked. So I was pleasantly surprised, really liked that one and would potentially get it. Sunfruit, last summer, this came out and I tried it. Mahima from Scented Lifestyle let me sample hers and it was so good. I really, really, really liked it and I would and probably will eventually buy it. Really like this fragrance. Fruity, tropical, creamy. Coconut without too much coconut. Frustration, brand new release. I want to try this, but I don't think Italia Bourg d'Orange is at all safe blind buy ever. So I would like to try a sample of it to see. Looks like a nice woody vanilla, perhaps a bit gourmand. 724, I have. I really like this fragrance. I know it's it seems a little basic to some people, but um, for someone who really likes a clean white floral musky, fragrance white floral <laughs> yeah a musky white floral woody floral musk fragrance this is just beautiful just easy to wear anytime anywhere and i really really enjoy this fragrance so to me it's a win um what else do we have would like to try indigo tanzanite of course dolce lily a little bit forgettable but this whole line i'm not a big fan of the whole dolce line is not the best to me light blue italian love this was really nice i tried this one and another one i think it was love is love and i tried the intense i think this one is a little bit of a departure from the other light blues and i'm a little bit overwhelmed by all the light blue flankers because i actually don't have any light blue flankers in my collection and but i would like to add one because i do like them but i just don't want all of them this one is a lot more woodier and muskier. 
yeah, it has musk, mallow, ambrette, sandalwood, white musk. It's really nice. Um, I really enjoyed it. I can't remember exactly how it smells, but I tried it in stores and I really liked it. And I liked it more than the other light blue that I tried there, which was, um, I think it was, I tried the intense and I think I tried love is love. No, not that one. That would be nice. Love is love. I would like to try that with the whipped cream. I think it was forever. Yeah, it was forever. I tried light blue forever. That one was nice too. It was, but the other one was a little bit more interesting. So yeah, Italian love was a little bit more interesting to me. Let's keep going. This is going to take forever. Girl of now lovely. I have not smelled that. I would like to smell it. Uh, let's see what else we have. This is her vibes of freedom would also like to smell that. I have not smelled it. Tonka Cola. I'm intrigued. Definitely would not blind buy, but would sample it. Um, what? This is something that totally I passed under the radar and I never noticed came up. What is this? You guys, Montguerlain L'Essence. What is this? I do not remember ever hearing about this. It must be a new, 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 new release. Okay, very interested in this one. My goodness. Lactonic, of course, with the frangipani. Lactonic, tropical. Oh, oh my goodness, you guys. Is this brand new? Okay, it's brand new. I mean, I think. Okay, I am. This is something that I'm so interested by. I like, I love the Mogherlin so much. And this one looks like such a beautiful, slight deviation from it that I would actually blind buy this. <laughs> so, yeah, interesting. Bear. I've heard so much good things about this. I would be interested in trying this one. Uh, it's a little bit hyped up. I would be interested in that one. I want you forever. I've also heard good things about it. Um... I think I smelled Daisy ever so fresh in stores briefly. Couldn't tell you much about it. Paragon, I would like to smell, would love to sample this. Vanilla, vanilla milk is so polarizing that like I've been afraid of even just blind buying a travel spray. Initially when I saw that it was like supposed to be lactonic and milky, I was like, yes, I would totally blind buy that. But the... Reviews are so polarizing and they're not like, oh, this is okay. It's either you hate it or you love it. And there's a lot of hate on it that, um, I don't know. I need to wait. I need to, I, it's not in stores though. So I might have to blind buy a travel spray to let you guys know what I think of it. Fantasy naked, another fantasy flanker. Hmm. Not sure if I'm that interested. Soleil vibrant. I don't really like the original, so I'm not that interested. Um, this one looked kind of, yeah, this one looked nice. I don't know Boucheron fragrances, but this one does look nice, especially like, yeah, with that almond and vanilla. Would be interested in maybe in maybe sampling that. Um, there's a lot of fragrances, though, that I'd be interested in sampling, I guess. Uh, Lotus Pear by The Seven Virtues. A really nice fruity white floral aquatic pear fragrance. Um with a nice little like white floral gardenia touch in there. Very nice. It's not groundbreaking, you know what I mean? Like it, I would say it's quite accurate that it smells a little bit like the Viva La Juicies or Gorgeous Gardenia, which is also compared to Viva La Juicy, you know what I mean? So very nice. I wouldn't like go, I have the fragrance. I wouldn't tell you like go run out and buy it. But like if you don't have Viva La Juicy or whatever, this is a nice um, niche clean version if you will. And it's very nice, easy to wear, especially in the springtime. I wore it like crazy in the springtime and I will probably take it out in the springtime again. I really like this fragrance. Um, Tara would love to try that one as well. Another flanker of Gabrielle, but this one's the Parfum. I like Gabrielle, would like to have it as well. Atelier des Arts, pink me up very much. Would like to try this. I love Atelier des Arts and this looks, I mean, if that musk is really nice and amplified, I would probably really like this fragrance. If the 
blackberry is a little bit hit and miss for me. It can see the, the champ and I was going to say it can smell a little bit like mulled wine a little bit to me, which I don't love and it has champagne. So if it smells a little too alcoholic or something, I'm yeah, I might not love it. So this is something that I would have to test out, but very intrigued. Um, oh my goodness. I have not tried any of the KKW fragrances, but caramel orchid sounds so good. That sounds good to me. There's a few fragrances of hers that sound really good. I would like to try this. The aesthetic of the bottle is pretty too. Um, but I don't know. I don't know where you would try that. Uh, what else? Ambre uh, Chromatique that has a lot of hype recently. I would like to try it. Boss Alive Intense. This is one of those fragrances I feel like fell under the radar. Like the Alive line. Like people just said it's kind of generic or it's been done for. And so... I kind of passed over it, but I would be intrigued in seeing how this smells. I mean, this looks quite different from the regular Boss Alive. Well, yeah, no, that's not really my kind of fragrance, actually. I don't love plum and black currant. I like apple and cinnamon, though, and vanilla. But no. Opulent Red by La Tafa. I really am intrigued and want to try it as well. Some say it's a Rouge Malachite um, dupe or Rouge Malachite. That would be nice. That would be nice for sure. Uh, some say it has a very like strong gasoline-like opening though, which scares me. So who knows? Another Hugo Boss, the scent fragrance. This Woody White Floral. Oud, oud, okay, interesting. I have not heard of this one. Would like to try it. I have not smelled it. Would like to try that. Uh, let's see. No, I don't need a bloom eau de toilette. I already have the eau de parfum. I like it. Mont Paris. I'm not that interested in. Let's see. I'm trying to go. Amber Oud Ruby Edition is supposed to be like the Baccarat Rouge Extra version, but the Amber Oud Rouge already kind of smells like the Extra. And some people in the comments also said like that, yeah, the, the, that the Rouge version smells, or <laughs> the Amber Oud Rouge version smells like the Extra more. So I'm not that interested in trying it out because I already have the other one. My Way Nacré, I feel like, is just the same as My Way. I don't think it's actually different. It just has, like, a shimmer in it. Yeah. It's just, like, it's just, like, with added shimmer in it, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see. Unspoken Musk, I'm interested in. I have to go faster, you guys. It's been way too long. Not Your Baby, I want to try out. And I did get a little sample set of all the Fleur fragrances, so I will let you know what I think of it. Uh, Good Girl Midnight, not sure. I think it's, again, just the same fragrance, isn't it? Anyway, uh, let's see what else do we have. Oh, Madurai. I was really interested in this because I love Memo fragrances. And first of all, look at that bottle. It's so beautiful. And it's a tuberose fragrance. Well, it says, two, yeah, two rose and jasmine. Sandalwood. I'm not the biggest peach fan, so not sure about that, but looks interesting. And just like Memo usually does, there are some more, like, interesting nuances in it. Like, here you have some turmeric, some clary sage, some suede. Um, very interested in trying this one out for sure. I'm probably totally missing out on some fragrances here that I could be talking about, but I just need to go through this super moon. Uh, not so sure. Zero comme des garçons. I mean, varnish accord. I don't know. No, not necessary. The Eau de Toilette of L'Interdit, I have a feeling, is really nice. I already have the regular Eau de Parfum, the Intense, and Rouge, so I'm not looking for another Interdit. But the Eau de Toilette actually looks really nice, and I would like to see what that smells like. Cacao in the sun, that sounds really nice. Oh my god. A lot of these sound nice. Okay, there's apparently a lot of hype 
with behind Sweet Tooth, which I don't know why. I don't know who Sabrina Carpenter is, but it did look like something I would like to try. It's like a cozy gourmet fragrance. Um, Fabulous Yuzu. Citrus Vanilla. This looks like something that could be nice. Oh, it has the fancy sandalwood too. Um, hard to know. I really like the yuzu, like the yuzu fruit, which is like a citrusy fruit, but it smells really sweet and tropical and fruity and lovely. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh my God, there's way too many new fragrances. Here we have Folie d'un Soir. No, Rose Amber. No. Um, Soleil Passion is a beautiful fragrance. A fruity, musky, woody fragrance. Very pretty. I have a bottle of it. It was sent to me and I really enjoy it. I will be reviewing it. But a very beautiful pomegranate and strawberry fragrance with, uh, well, pomegranate fruity citrus pomegranate with the orange and the strawberry clean musky fragrance with a lot of ambergris as well in it smells very natural salty musky skin scent in the end very pretty perfect for spring cannot wait to wear it for spring p33 looked interesting as well mm. Yeah, but definitely would need to sample that first. What else do we have? This is him, Vibes of Freedom. Same, I would like to try that too. Um, need to go quicker. Apricot, apricot Privé or Apricot Privé. Again, we'll need to sample it. Late Harvest. All these Fort and Manly releases look very interesting. This one is a sweet woody cherry tobacco vanilla fragrance. Looks scrumptious. There were a few other by Fort and Manly that looked good to me. Would love to try that. Um, Indigo Valley by Skylar. I really wanted to try this one. It was like, I yeah, this was the one that I most wanted to try out of their like new full bottle releases. It's like blueberry marshmallow chocolate. Um, interesting. It looks like kind of like jarring note combinations, but I'd be interested in smelling this one. Um, Ego Stratus just looks like something that has been done before. It looks like it would be nice though. A musky, like what, it, I don't know if like the new trend is blueberry. I've been seeing a lot of blueberry fragrances, but like a musky clean scent with a bit of fruitiness. That's what it looks like. So it looks nice. Not sure that I need that. Um, let's see what else do we have. I don't really like mango. So right away I'm like, what is this though? Let's see what it is. Is it actually mango? It is. It is. It's mango. Okay. Ooh, it does look, I don't see already. I don't like when black currant goes wine, like it can go in a wine way to me. So when I see that it's black currant paired with red wine, I'm like, okay, you mean it's going to be a wine smelling berry, <laughs> which I don't love and I don't love mango. So not sure that would definitely be not safe blind buy for me in any way worth sampling. Maybe for me, um, beach nights. I smelled this at bath and body works. I forget what it smelled like. What is it? See, it looks so much better on paper. Marshmallow, sea salt, vanilla, driftwood, chocolate. I don't remember what it smelled night like. I think it was just fine. Um, Because there's so many in here. Uh, I think this is like an oud jasmine. Jasmine exclusive. Yeah, it's like a white floral oud fragrance. Those are kind of interesting sometimes. The juxtaposition of like the heavy, robust oud with a more ethereal or fleshy, carnal white flower. It can be kind of interesting. Wow, the fact that they compare it to jasmine rouge, which is beautiful, is very interesting. That... Yeah, makes me very interested, but I would definitely not blind buy that. It'd be very risky. Chelsea Knights looks very nice. Very, very nice. I would love to try this. Cocoa, saffron, hazelnut. 
but you know, definitely would need to try that. Would need to sample and see. What else do we have here? Um, oh, I was really intrigued by Fantastic Basilic uh, by Montal. Aromatic, fresh, spicy amber. But it has some vanilla and tropical frangipani and tuberose. I think this no breakdown looks so interesting. I love basil and I love when there's an added aromatic or herbal edge to an otherwise like white floral fruity fragrance. So very intrigued by this one and would love to sample it. Uh, I love seeing this interesting combo here. Um, La Vie Belle Domaine de la Rose. La Vie Belle with just more rose in it. I think not necessarily something I'm that interested in. Venom of Love, this is Paulina Char's and Navitas Parfum, Parfum's, um, Paulina Char's collaboration. And this, I mean, this looks delicious. Absolutely delicious. Would love to try it out. Um, what else do we have here? Oh my God, there are so many, you guys. I don't know. I would always, oh, Noir by Noir. Noir by Night by um, Atelier des Arts is the other fragrance. I think this looks very interesting as well. Would love to test that out. Um, let's see what else there is. Libra. Which one is that one? That is that one that I want to try. Ooh, Citrus Vanilla Powdery. Hmm. With some ambergris. Hmm. That could be nice. It could also be forgettable. Could go a lot of ways, you know. Be interested in trying it though, for sure. Not interested in guava. I don't like guava to begin with, really, in fragrance. It tends to go sour on my skin. I don't love it. Um, let's see what else we have here. Rare fig. Don't remember seeing that. Rare fig. Woody, fruity, aromatic green. Okay, not super interested in that, to be honest. Um, House of Siage, I just skip over because I've never smelled any of their stuff and apparently it's very hard to get here in Canada. Hmm, like tonic from the Osmanthus, I gather. I'm not a huge peach fan and I don't love rum. It doesn't look like the one for me if I had to try some of those. Not that interested. Eilish number two. I really like Eilish number one, which I smell in stores. I don't have it, but I would buy it. This one actually looks a little bit less for me. Although it has that Palo Santo and Papyrus. Those are kind of intriguing to me. I don't like a strong ebony note though. I don't love that wood. So not sure that this is for me. I think the bottle is cute though. I think it's interesting. Would look great with the gold one, of course. But uh, I would have to test that one out. I would not blind buy that at all. Mm. Amazing Grace Intense. Kind of interesting. Mm, maybe not. Mm. <laughs> you guys, I'm getting overwhelmed now. There's too much. Let's see what else we have here. Ylang in Gold, Edition Speciale. What's special about this one? I love Ylang and Gold. Oh, it does seem to be a little bit different. Yeah, it seems to be a little different. What's different about it? I don't know. But, I mean, I love the original. I'm not so sure how this one would be different. Would have to see and test out. Ooh, Cream Chiffon. Now this sounds like it would be good. Ooh, I love a good citrus vanilla. Oh my goodness. This looks amazing to me. I would absolutely like to try that one out. And do you see how this has just ended up being like a, not just, okay. Amber musky powdery. Oh, I don't know. No, no, no. Um... Unusual Gourmand by Zara. There's so many Zara fragrances, I get overwhelmed. But let's see what's so unusual about this. Musk, salt, candied fruits and pear. I guess I would have to smell it. 
to find out. Hmm. It looks like it smells like clean radiant nectar. And God is a woman. And okay, I can kind of understand how it would maybe smell because I've smelled all these. It would probably be nice. I would like it. But I do not need another fragrance like that. Um, my God, there's too many, you guys. Ooh, this looks interesting to me for me as a Narciso Rodriguez fan, fan, fan. This I would blind buy. Absolutely. This just looks so beautiful to me. And I would probably, most probably love it. So, yeah. I would probably actually like blind buy that if I could. There's also this new for her pink edition, which I'm like, I don't really understand. It looks very similar to the original for her. So I'm not really understanding. Well, okay. Maybe a little less musky. More as Manthus. No, no, I really don't. Oh, it has more vanilla. The other one doesn't have vanilla, right? Yeah, the other one does not have, well, it has a bit of vanilla, but just less. Um, so, yeah, not so sure. I would have to try it out. Definitely cute bottle. Interested, but not as much as the other one. And Iconic Gardenia sounds like something, you know, nice to try too. I'm trying to see if there's anything here that I have. Oh, I think people really like this one. Minnie Mouse. Yeah. Ooh, that looks yummy. That looks like a really nice gourmand. Caramel, raspberry, coconut, marshmallow, whipped cream, vanilla, musk eater. I like all those notes. Um, I'm sure it's it's lovely. Would have to try it. Uh, but I cannot imagine it being bad. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we have that I would be interested in. Oh, there's all these new fragrances that I'm like, I don't know. Musk Amarante Beetroot. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Tonka Blanc. Citrus Vanilla Amber. With Cauliflower. Wow. Ooh, Cauliflower actually has like a very... Like fart-like, sulfurous quality to it. I don't know that that's a good thing, you know? That that's there. <laughs> um, would have to smell it. Yes, I just find this bottle captivating, kind of. Um, yeah, I don't know. Cause, I mean, all the, I think a lot of the Courage fragrances have this bottle, like this with the ball, but not all in that one color. Powdery vanilla musky almond. I think this looks like a clean, fresh vanilla powderiness that I would like. Um, it looks like a very powdery, clean musky fragrance it looks like something i would like so i would like to try it it could be bad though like i would have to sample it it could go it could go in a weird way too um good girl gold fantasy I, this looks good but i mean is it just like the regular one okay no it's not it's not identical but it's very close um, very interested in eventually owning one of the good girls. I just don't know which one, you guys. I just don't know. There's always these new ones coming out. I just never got around to that one, you know. And now I'm really wanting to know when this sort of list is going to go down. Because I just, there's just too much. Oh, PDF. PDF. I think that one looks really good. This one looks really interesting. Very interesting. Like seagrass and myrtle, I don't love. But vanilla, salt, caramel, musk, and coffee, and rose, jasmine, thyme. Hmm. Could be really nice. Could be really weird. So interested. What? I don't remember M. Mikhailov coming out with chocolat fondant. <gasps> Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh, okay. 
I didn't know about this one, you guys. Did you guys know about this one? Tuberose honey cacao coffee. Oof. I mean, this looks like something I would like to try for sure. I love Aminkalef as a house as well. So always interested in seeing what their new re releases are. Creme de la creme. Oh my goodness. How did I not see these? Creme de la creme. Interesting. Macadamia. So it probably has that buttery nuttiness. Interesting. Not sure how this would go, but definitely a very interesting note breakdown. Would need to try it. Would be very interested in trying this as well. Um... Is this another one of the good Fortin Manly releases? Another one. They all look really good. Dried fruit, rum, honey, vanilla fruit, cinnamon. That looks like a great winter fragrance. Um, all the Sol de Janeiro fragrances that I tried. Tropical Nights, Tan Lines, and Cien Sol. I think Tropical Nights is fine, but it's just been done before. Cien Sol, there's something in it that I don't love. I do really like tan lines for summer. What else do we have? To be born to shine woman. I have to be almost done, right? Vanilla Woody. Um, I don't know. Just, I'm getting tired. <gasps> I think this one looked good. I'm not sure. Princess style. Oh, no. Maybe a little. No, never mind. It's just fine. It's just floral fruity. Um, I'm sure I'm skipping over some things. You know what I mean? That might be great. But to my father, this is one that does not look like it would be for me at all. Very woody, leathery. But would like to try it maybe to sample it. Uh, Leon or Leon. Woody Sweet Citrus Valley. This looks pretty interesting. Definitely sample worthy. Would not blind by this. Um, let's see. Floria looks like a very easy to wear creamy white floral gardenia fragrance. I need to test it out. Let's see what else we have. Lost Cause. Which one is this one again? I need to test all of these out. Green white flower. Right. Okay. This looks kind of interesting. I definitely need to try them out. There's a lot of Zara fragrances that came out this, this um, year. I would love to go and test those out in stores. It's just not the same in stores though, you guys, to test them out. I really... Would prefer to be able to take a sample home and try it out in my own time without being overwhelmed by other scents. Um, just clicked on this one. I'm not into that. I just wanted to see because I didn't know about it. Uh, bread and chestnut. Interesting. I do like a bready note. So that's why I clicked on it. But... Not sure. That's definitely not something. That's something that I would love to try, you know. Um, there are a lot of fragrances here. And I feel overwhelmed. I thought that I was going to be able to do this in one go. Maybe I won't. Les Veilles, I'm pretty sure, is just literally the exact same La Vie Belle. Um, Bella Bouquet. Mm. Maybe it's because I've seen too many by now, but I just am not that interested. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> I hit the too many requests. One, that's too bad. The too many requests page. I'm not going to be able to click on any of them. So maybe we will. Ooh, I really was interested in White on White by Zerjoff. Let's see what else. Oh, I'm not going to be able to click on anything. Right? Oh, I hate this page. Do you guys get that when you're looking on Fragrantica? I get it too much, too hard, too soon, too fast, all the time. So let me see how much there's left because I feel like this deserves 
more like oh my goodness there's so much more than i thought for some reason i thought that i was going to be able to go through this you guys so not ridiculous i'm gonna leave it at that i want to know if you want me to keep going and i'll i'll do another one i'll keep going but otherwise like and like let me know if you like this kind of video because i don't even know what kind of video this is this is definitely a long video and at this point i'm okay there we go i would have enough to do like an entire other video so let me know um thank you so much for watching you guys this was a casual very casual definitely just for entertainment purposes only although i don't even know if it was entertaining let me know what your thoughts are on any of these fragrances and uh, till we see each other again thank you so much for watching take care of yourself i'll see you very soon bye